Hey, we're uh, Todd and Chris Arneson. We just want to tell you about our uh, desert experience. Uh, we had uh, raised our kids just really very intentionally uh, to have a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We'd pray with them uh, every morning and read the Bible with them all together. And uh, uh, we just really tried to instill that in them that they could uh, uh, have a relationship with God themselves. And they all did. Uh, come to a place of committing their lives to Jesus Christ at a very early age. We were married 10 years before Todd went into ministry, but we as a family were involved in ministry and in our church, and that was a high priority for us as a family, and our kids were all involved. And um, But Brianna especially was very sensitive to the Lord, and she, she would witness to her friends in the neighborhood and she even witnessed to my grandma who was um, very much not interested in the Lord. She started a, um, a Bible study in her high school on her own and so we as parents thought that we had a kid who was going to be just fine and then something happened when she was 16 years old. When she was 16 then she just had this crisis of faith where uh, somebody just questioned her faith and uh, really shook her faith and she just went through a whole period of time, um, about six years of really struggling with whether or not she believed uh, these things that we had taught her and that the church had taught her. Um, and we just began to pray for her and uh, lift her up to God and ask other people to be praying for her. Uh, we had, uh, we'd been involved in our life teams and leading life teams uh, through that whole period of time uh, and for six years our life team uh, prayed for us and prayed for Brianna. She was at times so far away from him and so cold uh, to God and, and to talking at all about faith. She just, um, she, just, she just wouldn't talk about anything related to God. She just gave us a stiff arm every time we talked about that. and um, So we just had to turn it over to God and ask Him to intervene uh, in her life and in her heart. And I was afraid of her making a life a life altering mistake during this period when she was in the desert. And um, she was dating somebody who was not who was not a Christian at the time. And she chose this person. Um, we had stressed all her life that you need to date someone with your same uh, belief system. Well, she didn't have a belief system. so. Consequently, she chose someone who did not believe in the Lord, and he was a great guy. We love him, but um, at the same time, he, he would not be someone who, if they got married, would pray with our grandchildren. You know, I, I believe God can redeem mistakes that we make, but um, for her sake, I wanted her to not have to... Um, have to deal with the consequences of a bad decision. At one point, uh, Brianna and I, I had to take her back to Minneapolis. She went to school at uh, North Central University in Minneapolis, and I was going to take her back. We had a two-hour car ride, and I tried to influence her, you know, rather than wait on God. <laughs> uh, I tried to get her Christian books to read, and she gave me a stiff arm like you wouldn't believe right before we left. <laughs> and said, I don't want to read any of that stuff. Stop pushing me. And and then I uh, we got in the car, and it was uh, going to be a rough two-hour ride, two ride back to Minneapolis, I thought. And uh, I just opened my heart to her, and I, and I cried. I said to her, Brianna, you're stiff-arming us and you're stiff-arming God, and I just, please stop doing that. You don't realize how much, how much pain that causes your parents and it, how, much, how much pain that is causing God. <laughs> and somehow in that, I was really afraid that God was just going to, uh, that Brianna was just going to just, that was going to be it, and she was not going to have a relationship with us anymore. We didn't want to risk that relationship. But somehow God used that in that conversation that we had then the rest of that two hours in Minneapolis. She really did open up and start giving us permission to talk for brief periods of time about God and her struggle. And we had, we drove the two hours there and talked 
and then we went to lunch together and she said okay you can have a half hour to talk about God and I gave her permission to stop you know anytime it was too pushy or anything um, gave her permission to stop and we talked for about a half an hour about her relationship and her struggles and I think that began the turning point for her over a period of a number of months where she began to return to him um, he's a big God he can do anything um, we were fortunate that uh, Brianna came around a lot sooner than a lot of people get to experience but we know what it's like to have a kid that has run away from the Lord and we're worried about um, her salvation what kind of choices she's gonna make um, how long is it gonna be till she comes back or is she gonna come back but um, also on the other hand I know that God is good and he wants he loves Brianna more than we do which is hard to imagine but um, he loves all of our kids more than we do and he wants them to come to him it was it was so powerful when God began to work in her heart and she began to respond to him and uh, I just want to encourage you to uh, keep doing that uh, keep praying uh, because uh, God wants to answer your prayers and he will uh, when you keep trusting him and uh, bringing those requests to him bring your children uh, to God and uh, don't just pray by yourself pray ask other people to pray with you uh, during that desert experience even if it's for years uh, and um, he, he wants to he wants to bring them back and uh, so keep doing that don't give up